Hello and welcome to WP Forms. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add custom PHP or JavaScript to your WordPress site for WP Forms. Adding custom code snippets to your site with PHP or JavaScript can extend the functionality of your site for your specific needs, including extending the functionality of a plugin. I'm going to go over the two most common ways of adding PHP or JavaScript to your WordPress site by using a snippets plugin and creating a child theme. Keep in mind that you can use either method to add code snippets to your site in general, and not just code that you'd like to use for WP Forms. Without further ado, let's get started. Let's start off by learning how to add code by adding a snippet plugin. After logging into your WordPress site, we'll first go to the plugins page and install and activate the code snippets plugin. Using a snippet specific plugin is by far the easiest way to add custom code to your site which is why we recommend using a free plugin like Code Snippets. Normally, you'd need to add Code Snippets to your site's functions.php file, but the Snippets plugin allows you to add this code without the risk of potentially breaking your WordPress site. When the plugin has been activated, click on the Snippets tab on the left, and then click on the Add New button at the top of the page. You'll see a field where you can create a title for your snippet, and a text box where you can enter your PHP or JavaScript. Add a title for your custom snippet, and then paste the code snippet into the code box. You can then change the scope of the snippet. In other words, where the snippet will run, whether that be only in the WordPress admin area, on the front end of your site, or everywhere. If you're not sure, just leave the default Run Snippet Everywhere option checked. You can then create a description and tags for your snippet if you'd like, and when you're done, click Save Changes and Activate. The second method I'm going to go over is adding PHP or JavaScript by using a child theme. A child theme is essentially a theme that copies the functionality, features, and style of the parent theme. You can then customize the theme with code like PHP or JavaScript without making any changes to the parent theme. This is especially helpful when you need to update your site's theme. If you use a child theme, you can update the parent theme without losing any of the customizations you created and applied to the child theme. The first thing we'll want to do is open your browser and go to wpforms.com forward slash developers. And in the search bar, type in PHP and select the second article that appears. Alternatively, you can find a direct link to this developer doc in the video description below. We're going to need to copy a CSS code snippet from this article to set up our child theme. Scroll down to the bottom until you find the following code snippet and copy it to your clipboard, as we'll need this in a few moments. To create the child theme for your site, create a brand new folder on your computer's desktop. For this example, I'm just going to name the folder WP Forms Demo. Inside the folder, you'll need to create two text documents, a style.css file and a functions.php file. You can do this by using a text editor like Notepad. Create a new doc, and we'll first paste the CSS snippet that we copied from the developer doc. Save the file as style.css. In the same folder, create another text document, and the only thing we're going to write in this file is the following open PHP tag. Save this text file as functions.php. When you're done, compress the folder containing the two text files into a zip folder, and then we're going to go back to our WordPress site and go to Appearance and Themes. From there, click on the Add New button on the top left corner, and then click on the Upload Theme button. Select the Compressed Child Theme folder, and when it's done installing, activate it. You'll then be able to see that you now have a working child theme, and if you go into the Theme Editor, you can either add custom CSS in the style.css file or PHP and JavaScript to your functions.php file safely. If you have any questions or concerns, please be sure to visit wpforms.com and check out our documentation page, which has step-by-step -step written instructions for all of our features and add-ons. If you need any extra technical help, please go to our contact page and reach out to our support team. Hey everybody, this is Daisy with WP Forms. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, where I can show you how to build smarter forms with WP Forms through our how-to videos and more.